Hello everyone and welcome to the favorite diamond paints and crafts also known as Myra. Um, welcome to my channel if you are new. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, today uh, we're going to do a whip and chat which is work in progress and then we're just going to chat so let's get started. Um, I did do an unboxing of this and lost the video so um, this is Diamond Art Club's Butterfly Breast Cancer Awareness. It is square shaped and it is 56 centimeters by 71 centimeters. Um, so let's go ahead and get this open. Like I said, I've already did the opening of this portrait. But the video got messed up and it's all right. I'm not going to cry about it. It is what it is. All right. So obviously it comes with your basic toolkit from the Diamond Art Club. Baggies, a blue squishy, a blue pin, square tweezers. Because if working on a square every time, you will get tweezers. Um, and it's got a four piece. Excuse me. A four placer in there and that's it for today in a little tray there's a tray in there all right um like i said i've already opened this i hope everyone's having a wonderful day it is a bright sunshiny day here in south florida this is a partial which means even though this is extremely large, let's see if I can get you guys back out. There we go. Let's see. Eh, it's not gonna do very good. Um, so even though this is a partial, um, I don't have to work on anything here. I only have to work on the butterflies and the little vines that connect them so here I have my little sticker that comes with your diamond art clubs I would normally put this on my project box my my um, harbor freight but I believe if I'm correct yeah this portrait only has four colors let me show you the key code This portrait only has four colors, so there's no point in me getting a whole Harbor Freight box just for four colors. So I'm going to put this to the side. And a little beautiful picture. License from Shutterstock.com. And if this was a lot of colors, then this was before they had the pre-cut labels so i would just cut these out and stick them to the boxes which i'm gonna go ahead and do because there's only four um let's see where are my handy dandy scissors okay so i did get four of my little harbor freight boxes for the four colors so let's cut these out Handy dandy scissors. Um, so what's going on in the world today? Really don't want to see I don't want my my channel to be sad per se. I want my channel to be happy, uplifting. Or if people want to get things off their chest because they need someone to talk to about it, I'm fine with that as well. Um, a lot of stuff going on in the news, but I try not to watch the news, to be honest. Um, let's see. So we got these colors. So all you need is the actual symbol and the DMC code, which is the color code of that drill. So I can take this off if I would shoot, like, it's not going to be a big issue. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it on for now. And we're just going to cut this as number one. And then hopefully I don't struggle with this. If I do, 
I will pause you guys and just put the stickers on here. Yeah, again, these are only with the older kits. Um, I got this one. Um, the Diamond Art Club sent an email out that these were going to be going out of stock. So I decided to go ahead and grab one before it went out of stock. It is available. I did check. It, it is still available as of right now on the Diamond Art Club website. Um, where's my labels? Um, let's see. I forgot the pricing of it now. I think it was like 30 bucks. $29.99. I'll have to check. And I'll put it in the notes when I do the video. So yeah, this is my very first whip and chat. You guys get to see me struggle with these old labels. This is probably why they made the new labels. Because don't nobody got time for this, Felicia. That's right, I say it. I say it all the time. Um, let's see. That's that one. I tend to go through and go ahead and label my boxes now. Especially with the Diamond Art Club because they don't come in numerical order in the package. Uh, like uh, Diamond Dots does come in numerical order. But the Diamond Art Club's drills do not come in numerical order. And I can understand why. They do it by the size of the package of the drills rather than by the numbers. Which a company that large, I can understand why they do why they do that. So, you'll see when I get this open. Um, if you hear any noise, first of all, our dog Luna is sleeping right behind me. And she tends to snore. She is snoring. I can hear it. I don't know if you guys can hear it. But she's just lightly snoring. My little bubble butt. Um, they're doing construction on our street. In our neighborhood, actually. And you might hear some stuff outside. I do have some company coming in a couple weeks. And they're going to stay for about a week. I wish they could stay longer, but... <clears throat> You know, everybody has lives and work that they have to get back to. But I'm very happy I'm going to get the time that I'm going to get with that person. Um, family is everything to me. It means so much to me. It's not even funny. I know that's not in everybody's situation. Um, I've had friends that one of their parents passed away and they really didn't care. I mean... And that's okay. Not everybody has to have a loving family like myself. I'm truly blessed. Okay. So, those are labeled. That was easy. <laughs> oh, the fastest. So then we're going to put these beautiful pinks. And if you know me, Miss Myra loves pink. Um, let's see. Sorry about the noise. We're going to do this by the numbers. 603. 603 is going to be number three. So what I'm going to do here is I'm simply going to get these drills out of this bag. So yeah, they're doing construction on our street. Um, they've redone everybody's driveway already. This has been going on for about a year. More than a year. Um, they redid everybody's driveways that belongs to the county. Um, and they put in a new drainage system. And, oh, I put that in the wrong box. Good thing I'm not paying attention to her, Mara.
So it happens when you're not paying attention. And it's not the first time I've done this before one time. Um, I kitted up a rainbow rose from the Diamond Art Club for my twin sister one day. And um, she was like, Myra, this, this just doesn't look right, you know. And I'm working on one Diamond Art. She's working on another one. And I, I go and check on it. And I'm like, yeah, it doesn't. So we go through all the drills one by one. And sure enough, I had put the wrong box. So this color came with two bags. So let's see. This one is 601. It is also two bags. Put those over there. I'm only going to do one at a time. Now this is a square. I do love working on my squares. I love my rounds and my squares for different reasons. Um... My rounds, I love them for the sparkle. They sparkle more than the squares do. The squares still shine. They still sparkle. But, that's how I think of it anyways. It's just my opinion. It's not written in stone. Um, the squares, I love the accuracy of the portraits that they come out the portraits come out so much better. They look much, much clearer with that. So that's another bag of 601. Put that there. This one is the AB of the diamond painting. It's 124. Look how it sparkles. Now, if you don't know what an AB is, it is short for Aurora Borealis. It has a coating on it that makes it shine much brighter. So we're going to close this. And I really don't have to cut it off, right? I can do it like that. And just pour it in the back. Again, these are just boxes from my Harbor Freight boxes that I'm actually working on a kit that doesn't have it your Harbor Freight box comes with 24 of these little tiny boxes come on get out get out give me give me give me thank you um it comes with 24 boxes so what I'm currently working on only has like 20 colors Oh, look, that one got damaged. Um, so I just took four boxes out of that box to work on this one. This is going to be so fun. For one, it's only four colors. Two, it's a square. Three, it's full of pink. Love me some pink, y'all. I love purple, too. I love black, too. I love black. Diamond arts with a lot of black in them because they're less. You don't have to be as finicky with them. The less your mistakes are less noticeable. Not that they're mistakes, but you know what I mean. The spacing and things like that. Um, I don't believe I'm gonna use my light pad today. Really, with Diamond Dot or excuse me, Diamond Art Club, you really don't need per se a light. Uh, light pad the symbol quality is very good we only had one box of one bag of this one so we're good to go so I'm gonna put this to the side and work on them as we go okie dokie um, these scissors I got at Joanne Fabrics they were like $30 but I also use those for all my diamond painting, for um, my framing, for all that good stuff. So I did want to get a good set of... Isn't that pretty? Can you guys see it all? Let me see if I can get it in the portrait. It's very, very pretty. And I love butterflies. I really do love butterflies. So, and I'm right-handed, so I tend to start in the right corner. So we're going to try to go ahead and do that today. 
let me go ahead and try to fold this because this is kind of large and in charge. Um, also, to any of my family members watching, if you know someone that is currently going through breast cancer um, or has had it and they're a survivor, and once I finish this, you would like me to send it to you so you could gift it to that someone, I'd be more than happy to do that. That's not a problem. Um, so let's go ahead, peel this back. And I'm gonna get my butterfly minder for this one because it's a butterfly image. Let's see if I can get it on here. Got it. And it's much easier to hold your plastic back and just move it along. All right, so here also I wanted to show you guys, since I'm working on this side, this side is open. I don't want to leave this like this because the more the adhesive is open to the air, um, it can cause issues. Um, it'll dry out the glue it, with some portraits. And this has been a while since I've gotten this one, so I'm going to go ahead and put release paper on it. This is release paper. So I'm just going to gently... Let's see. Cover it this way. And then I'm gonna grab another one real quick. Just to get the tip of it. There we go. Oops, I left that out. This is still showing. Oh, that's still showing too. <laughs> so let's do them this way, shall we? That way we'll get them both in. Now those are covered. And I don't have to worry about it. Alright, so let's see if I can get you guys down in the business right here. Much better, don't you think? I think so. Alright, so let's see. First color we're gonna work on is number one, which is an actual AB. That's awesome. So now with this open, you can see how beautiful this is. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. Absolutely love it. Mm, I probably should have got a different drill pay tray because all these pinks and this pink might um confess me might not so yes there's construction they're going to put in supposedly a sidewalk and they're going to put in some street lights which yeah i've been waiting a hot minute for that to happen let me show you guys now, I'm not a professional at doing this. This is just how I do it. And sometimes it messes up, but hey, that's okay. Ain't nobody here judging me. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and get my drill pen. I should have got a pink drill pen for this one, but I didn't. Dag nab it. All right, so let's go ahead and grab one. I'm not a stickler for making things perfect. Maybe I should put this over here. So you guys can see better. But when it comes to something like this, what I don't know if I'm going to be gifting this. So I want to make sure it looks pretty. Pretty good. I I'm using my multi placer. This is a five placer. I almost picked up five as I see it picks up four drills at a oops. Picks up four drills at a time. I don't know if I can get that in the there you go. So I'll just make sure that goes there. 
So yesterday morning I get up and I'm making my coffee. And like I said, I have company coming in a couple weeks. And, you know, there's some things that I'm doing in the backyard to make the backyard more welcoming. Because we like to spend time outside. And let's see. This one is also an AB. This one up here. So I'm going to go ahead and get that one done. Move this up a little bit. So I looked out my back window and I noticed we have, well, we have, first of all, we have neighbors to the left and right and we have neighbors behind us. And we have privacy fence up, plus the chain link fence. And I noticed that they decided to take down their fence. So it's not like we can't let our dog out. We can let our dog out and everything because that chain link fence is still there. But privacy fence is gone. I'm like, oh no. Oh we got company coming and these bubble heads decided to take down their fence. So I'm just making my coffee. I'm like, oh no, all these things are coming to my mind. You know, this changes my plans. I really hope that they're just taking down an old fence and re-putting up another one. And I begin to make breakfast for my family and whatnot. And sure as you know it, they put up another fence even better and prettier and I got frustrated and aggravated for nothing. Literally for nothing. I don't know why I like do that to myself, but... I don't know and they didn't know those people which we do know our rear neighbor our neighbors in the back of us so I guess they hired a company at first we were like oh no did they move away you know blah 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 but they didn't move away and they're just a little bit older so they decided to have a company come and help them with um the fence in the uh in the a uh, backyard and then um I woke up really early the other day because it's been about I would say three weeks actually so not the other day um that our other neighbor to the west of us they um started doing construction in the garage and added another door which is fine it's wonderful that you know everybody's redoing their homes and making them look nice but man can't they knock on the door and give us a warning and say hey i know it's going to be saturday morning but there's going to be a lot of noise coming from my yard and i just want y'all to know Ain't nobody going to be sleeping in. And your dog might be barking. So they didn't, but it's okay. It's not, it's not a big deal. Lord knows my father growing up, and my father is a craftsman. And growing up, we did our share of noise. Definitely. We definitely did our share of noise with dad doing a, he had a workshop in our backyard. So we definitely had our share. I'm just moving these drills over so that they look proper. But it looks like that's the way it's supposed to go. Weird. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, my dad did so much construction. It, we had two workhouses in our backyard. Uh, we had... A German Shepherd that would guard my dad's tools. His name was Nino, which is boy in Spanish. You know, like the El Nino. Is this correct? Just pull the drill to the side to make sure. 
Yep, that's correct. So I'm just going to shove these along. There we go. Maybe I should just put my drills down and not use the multi-placer for this one. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, plus, you know, there were so many kids in this house. I don't think we could ever complain. We ever have the right to complain to our neighbors because we're loud. Hispanic people. Growing up, I mean, now, no, it's a, it's a very old <clears throat> neighborhood. So most of the people either grew up and moved away. Um, but most of my friends that I grew up with, uh, their parents or their grandparents still live. I just said I was going to stop using my multiplacer. Um, still live in the neighborhood. And I went and used the multiplacer again. God, creature habit, creature habit. That's what happens. I'm so used to using the multiplacers. It's not even funny. A lot of people in the diamond art community, multiplacers are... I wouldn't say they're afraid of them. Um, they're just, most people are just gangsters and they want to do one by one by one. And if you want to go ahead and do that, hey, go ahead. But I like to finish the project pretty quickly so I can start another project. <laughs> Let's see if I can get you guys closer. Hey, I can. Let's get this over here. If you can see what I'm working on. I'll break that down. There we go. Move this over. There we go. So yes, that's it for that. Um, hopefully there's no noise. And I have a delivery coming from Walmart today. And if that comes, the dog's definitely going to bark. Dang it, I did my multiplacer again. Um, yeah, our dog, she's a barker. I love my Luna girl. Like I said, she is my uh, sister's dog. But we all love her. Just like my Trixie, Joy. She's mine, but everybody loves her. Um, what else do we have going on? I went to one of my friends that I went to high school with. Middle school, choir, graduated. I was um, bridesmaid in her wedding. So needless to say, we've known each other for a hot minute. A very, very long time. So her and her husband are on baseball teams, or excuse me, softball. And so one of their softball games on Mondays, I think it is, yes, is very close to my house. So, and they don't live that close to me. So on Mondays, I try to go to their softball games so I can see them and visit with them. And we went last night. It was really cool. And it was really nice and breezy. So for a Florida night, I can tell I need more wax. For a Florida night, um, it was kind of chilly out. It was really nice for us down here. Um, nobody got hurt. That was wonderful because uh, my friend, her name's Misty. Um, I went and saw this is um, Patty Wax Super Sticky. I write it in my tins. So I remember where I got it from because I have a couple tins. Not all of them are from Patty Wax Super Sticky. Put a little bit more into where you buy it my drill pin and I just push it in there. I'm trying to look through my camera 
uh, for the first time. I'm trying to see if it works. All right, so then when I push this on a brand new drill, it's going to touch it, just barely touch it, and it's going to grab that drill. The super sticky is exactly like the name. It is super sticky. It'll take your man. It's so sticky. Um, let's see. So, yeah, we went to the game. Everybody's not, you know, I'm not partaking, but, you know, some people are having some drinks. Not that I don't drink. I just don't, didn't want to drive home. I drink when I get home. I'll have one glass, one glass, or once in a while I'll have a couple beers. Now I'm thirsty, make me want a coffee, so I'm gonna have some coffee. Stay hydrated, everybody. I'd like to know what everybody's working on. That would be nice. You could put it in the comments below. That's that super sticky, you hear that? That pop sound, I love that pop sound. It's quite, um, relaxing. I do this a lot to relax me. I do suffer from anxiety and a couple of other things, but like, you know, I ain't right. Just can't get right. That's how my life is right now. Put you back out. Let me go ahead and get rid of these drills. So that's why I have this with a spout. So I just tap, tap, tap. They all come to the bottom. That's how I don't lose my drills. Especially these, because these are so pretty. And then I'm just going to open this up. Take my spout out. Come on. Oops, you guys can't see. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Look at that. Come on. There we go. So that's that color. I'm going to put that away and I'm going to take out this color. E is an Edward, which is this color, six foot three. Another perfect shade of punk. Um, so, yeah, the baseball game was really nice. I got to meet, you know, people my age. It's, you know, when you live with your, your elderly parents. Um, and I've been home for about four months. You don't get out, at least I don't. I haven't been getting out enough to be with people my age. So it was nice to go and see them when I go on Mondays. I'm around people my age, and which is a wonderful age that I'm not going to give. But, <laughs> um, doesn't that pretty how that lines up? Isn't that absolutely pretty? Love it. Look at that shine. Um, yes. So we're going to work on E. And let's see if I can do it with this color. It's a smidge of an overpour on this, but it's really, really, really good glue. Let's see, I should be doing good on this one. Yeah, so they won the baseball game last night. And another team had come in to play the 7.30 game. So we stayed and watched a little bit of the next game. And then I came home. Um, and we just, you know, we just chilled. We just hung out in the park a lot. Pretending like, you know, we're teenagers. <laughs> and like, we don't have stuff to get home and do. 
but it was extremely nice. Extremely, extremely, extremely nice to be with them and meet new people at the base. At the, excuse me, softball game. Um, they, I love their team shirts. They say um, NWO, but it means something else. I forgot what it is, but I do love their team shirts. And it's, um, I believe it's six women and six men. So I like how they're having a little bit of everybody do it. And who knows, maybe I'll meet Mr. Wright there. Maybe not, I really don't care, to be honest. Right now, my attentions are on mom and pop, to be honest. And my twin sister, but more my mom and dad, because my twin sister can do a lot by herself. Whereas mom and dad are a little bit different. Um, my twin sister's on a cane. She's got back problems, knee problems, and it, it's hard. It's hard. I was there for her surgeries and her recuperation and her therapies, um, but her back will never be the same since surgery. I know in her case, she's never going to have back surgery ever again. She's like, it, I'll never be the same. And so, of course, the doctors suggested another surgery on her knee. And she was like, absolutely not. Not right now. There's just too much right now on everybody's plat. Plat. Well, there's a lot of these. I like that. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm very excited with my company that's coming. I haven't seen them, or him actually. I haven't seen him in probably five years before COVID. I haven't seen him in a hot minute, so it's gonna be awesome. And then I've talk to him about my diamond arts um it's one of my siblings one of my brothers is coming to visit and um bah, 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 bah. yeah he's never seen my diamond paintings because i only started in march of 2020 and And he's very artistic. My brother. This one. Well, a lot of them are actually. But anywho, um, he's very artistic. So I'm wondering if he, if I can get him into diamond painting. Because some men do diamond painting. There are men that have diamond art channels. So it is becoming more and more popular because they are coming out with more and more masculine portraits in the diamond art community so that husbands and wives and couples can enjoy diamond art together. I know on the Facebook, Facebook um, group that I'm a part of, of Crafters Anonymous, when with Miss Coffee. They're, they show lots of... Everybody will, you know, take a picture of what they're completing or what they're working on. They get We get advice from one another. And when it's completed, we take pictures and post them on that page. Because diamond art is not for everybody. Not all of our friends and family want to know. Not all of them want to hear. Not all of them want to see. And it's okay. That's why they have those Facebook communities. For people like myself. And I will post completed portraits there. And you get the feedback that you're, that you're looking for. 
you know, like, oh, those lines were great and that looks so pretty and I've always wanted that one and how long did it take you? You know, things like that we talk about. Let's see if I can do that one. Whoop, got that one in. Um, yeah, like I said, diamond art paint is, I mean, di diamond art is not for everybody. Do I enjoy it immensely? Yes. I enjoy every part of diamond art. Um, I'm thinking about doing a video on how to seal a diamond paint. If you're having issues with the drills, you go ahead and seal it. And I haven't sealed one in a hot minute. It's been a long time since I sealed them. I mostly seal things that um, I get from Amazon or, you know, um, something that's not that great a glue prop. Um, to, 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 uh, glue product. And I haven't had that issue in a, a very long time, thanks to Diamond Art. See, I can place this on top of this now because I have this to hold it up from the glue. So it's not going to get stuck to work on this one. Oh, here I am again using this when I said I was going to use my single pacer. I'm just going to go ahead and do it because that's what my heart's telling me to do. That's what I enjoy. And if I got to fix them, I'll fix them. It is what it is. Um, what else? Trixie, for some reason, is pulling out her hair on her belly. She does have allergies. This is not an allergy. Um, when she has her allergy fits or issues, she'll pull her hair out on her belly, but they will be large red marks, scratch marks, bite marks. But there's nothing on her right now. All it is is she's just pulling out her hair. And I've been going out a lot more. Um, because my mom had surgery to take out a, um, what's it called? Oh my goodness, brain fart. What is it called? Hernia. She had a hernia removed. And I had to take care of her all the time, night and day. Um, but she's much better now. She can walk, she can cook, she can shower by herself. So I've been going out a lot more. And I think that might be what Trixie's issue is, my little Trixie Joy. Is that um, mommy's not at home as much as she wants me to be. So, um, I, ain't, I am thinking about taking her to a vet to see if there's anything that I can do other than just stay home to make my cat happy. What are you doing tonight? I'm staying home to make my cat happy. No, no, it's not going to happen. So, I have to figure out a way to where Trixie doesn't go bald. And I can go out and do what I want. Why? Because ain't nobody got time for that. Belisha. Let's work on this big one, shall we? Not to work on this big one. Oh, we can work. Yeah, let's work on the S's. So let's put this away for a minute. We're going to take this out. Um, so, yeah, I'm having issues. I got a new phone. And what happens is, at least for me anyways, when I record my videos, upload them, I had it down packed. But, you know, you get a new phone and everything changes. Oh, you don't do it that way and you got to sync your phone to your computer and you got to do this. And, that. and I tried uploading directly um, to my OneDrive. It just takes forever and I don't have that time to sit by my computer so 
Uh, it's been hard to figure out a faster way to... That is the letter P. This is the letter P. Number two, six, one. Um, oh no, I was going to do this one. The S is going around. Um, I forgot what I was talking about, brain fart. Oh, I'm trying to think of a faster way to upload my videos. So this one might not come out for a couple days. I'm not sure. I'm going to get with one of my older brothers that also has a YouTube channel. Um, he's a... He's a DJ in Jersey, and he also does graphics and stuff like that. But um, I think he's also on Twitch. I haven't done Twitch. I really, I downloaded it the other day to get to know it, but <clears throat> actually I downloaded it because I was watching Miss Coffee, another Diamond Art YouTuber, and I love watching her. Um, she's very real. I just want to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, and she was in the video and uh, long story short, they just, she started talking about someone that she watches on Twitch and that he was a handsome young man. And next thing you know, everybody's leaving the live chat to go to Twitch to check out this guy that Miss Coffee had brought up. And then I didn't, I mean, I didn't leave the channel. I did download the app so I could go and check out the gentleman. He's a drawer on uh, Twitch. And, um, yeah, he's a good looking guy. But anyways, it was funny how you just saw all these people leaving the channel as soon as she said that she had a good looking friend on Twitch that was live at that moment. So they they all went over there and said, you know, hi from Mrs. Coffee. And it was just, it was hysterical. I was in my room laughing like a crazy woman. And it was, they were giving Miss Coffee such a hard time and it was so funny. I like videos like that. Maybe one day I'll have one, but this is my very first whip and chat. And it's kind of nerve wracking because you, you think, you tend to think you really don't have a life and who wants to hear about what you do? But right now, most of my subscribers are my family and friends. So I started to, you know, calm myself down and, be, and realize that they're not going to judge me. If anything, they might give me corrective criticism, which I love. Um... Or things that they want to see because they don't they don't do diamond art. Um, my mom, myself, and my sister are the only ones that that diamond art right now. Um, I tried to get one of my nieces into it, but she likes to paint, you know, like with real paint because she's like a real artist. <laughs> And I've even tried to get her to sell, see if she could contact Diamond Art Club and give some of her paintings, you know, and, and see if they can get some of her stuff licensed. But um, she's going through college right now, and she's just got too much on her plate. So I just put that little... Sorry, I was concentrating. I just wanted to put that little birdie in her ear. So in the future, when she is done with college, you know, she, she can make money with, if Diamond Art Club likes her paintings, which I don't see why they wouldn't, but she could make, you know, profit off of her paintings while she's still alive. 
is the key. As they say that you don't make money off of paintings until you're gone, until you passed away. That's when you become famous in the art. But I've obviously learned different through Diamond Art Club, you know, with Randall Spangler and other Jojo Arts and other people that um, are artists. This is coming out so part A. It's coming out so part A. And I'm using my one placer, like I said. This is simple. Anybody can do it. I've seen on my Facebook page parents doing it with their children. Seven-year-olds that have completed whole diamond arts. So anybody can do this. Anybody. You don't have to be a brain surgeon to do that. To do diamond art. Funny fact, diamond art, from what I've heard, originated from cross-stitch. And I enjoy cross-stitching. So I think I'm going to do a video on what I'm currently working on and show you guys as I progress. Because I can't just do one craft. <laughs> no, not me. I got to be extra. So I do diamond painting. I do uh, regular cross stitch. I do... Um, One stitch with yarn. Um, I do have also paint with numbers. I like to keep my hands busy um, because I quit smoking two years ago, two and a half years ago. And I still get urges. Last night at the baseball game, I wanted a cigarette. But I didn't. Because I know in my mind and in my heart that it only takes one cigarette. One drag off of a friend's cigarette or one cigarette for myself to get me back to being hooked on it. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to go back to that. I feel better. I spend less money. Um, uh, my taste buds are different. If it wasn't for diamond art, I would still, I would probably still be smoking cigarettes today. I have to have something to keep my hands busy. Especially this helps a lot because you have that urge to hold that cigarette. So this helps a lot. So when I do get frustrated or I had a bad day or I had a panic attack or anxiety, whatever the case may be, I know that I have my diamond art. Um, and it does calm me down. As you can tell, I'm pretty calm right now. But when I do it with my mom and my sister, um... It's fun. I'm very lucky that I have people to do diamond art with. Um, not That's not the case for a lot of people in the diamond art community. Um, we joke, we play, we laugh, we pick on each other. And then we make mistakes and then we blame each other. Um... For the conversation or whatever whatever we were always joking around i love my family and we say that to each other constantly that we love our family especially um my siblings we have uh, a text chat where it's nothing but my brothers and sisters and we get on there and we pick on each other till there's no end and it's so funny i remember the first time we did it, I'm doing this so you guys, oh, oh, you can't see now, can you? Um, 
I was in my bedroom. My twin sister was in the backyard. And my mother I'm, and father's room is right next to mine. So I can, she can hear me and I can hear her and them. And my dad. Um, <laughs> I was laughing so hard. I, I was, tears were coming down my face. We laughed so much. And um, my mom came out of the room. And she is like, what is wrong with you? What is going on? And I said, it's your children. <laughs> She's like, what you're talking about? I'm like, I'm on with my brothers and sisters. Obviously, this conversation was in Spanish. But <gasps> this is a very pretty color. And I said, we're just up here playing. She's like, good Lord, are you all right? Because I was just crying and laughing so hard. I love that. I love that about my siblings. We get along great. Um, we also, during COVID, like it's over, but anyways, um, since we couldn't fly or do anything together, um, and I had to be, me and my twin sister had to be here for mom and pop. Um, we started doing Zoom calls together and that was fun. My brother, uh, JP was the one that, um, had set that up, initiated it and, and man, it was so funny. If you guys could be there when we're together, oh my God. Maybe one day I'll record it so you guys can see. But I'd have to get their authorization that it's okay. To put our business out there. But yeah, we had a lot of fun seeing everybody together. There was, you know, a little bit of sadness, unfortunately. But mostly ha happiness to see each other. Oh, this is going to turn out so pretty. So pretty. Um, yeah, I have one diamond painting that um, my mother worked on f that is a diamond dots. And... She, for the first time, was having glue issues. And I realized it was after her surgery that she, you know, was starting to feel better and she could sit down and do a diamond painting because your, your, her stomach was, the hernia surgery was pretty, pretty big. Sorry, had to take a sip of my coffee. And so she was in bed for a hot minute. And then um, she finally got to come out here and do some diamond art. I don't recommend doing diamond art in bed, at least not for us anyways. It, it hurts my back. It hurts my mom's back too. Um, so when she came out here to do her diamond painting... <clears throat> Excuse me. Unfortunately, she had left the plastic off. By plastic, I'm talking about this plastic. And that's why the glue had dried off. You can't keep too much air on this glue for so long. I mean, she was in bed for mm, four to six weeks. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so, obviously, it had affected the glue on her painting. Um, she did complete it with some tricks that I had heard and know, found out of on uh, from other YouTubers. And um, she was able to finish it. But because she had so many issues with the diamond painting and getting the drills to stick... I'm going to seal it. Um, 
with glue. I might do a video on that one. I haven't done a framing video, which I could do. I don't know. What do you guys want to see? Why don't you tell me? Do you want to see me glue a portrait? Or frame a portrait? Or maybe some cross-stitching next time instead of diamond art? Um, let you see what, the, what other projects I'm working on. I don't have, I mean, I have a couple paint by numbers, but I haven't opened them in a hot minute. They're brand new, still in the package, the ones that I have left. Um, let's see. I'm doing this kind of wonky, but look how pretty. Let's turn it out. So. I'm going to try to go ahead and finish this butterfly. And then I got some stuff I got to do today. I got to go, as always, to the pharmacy to pick up medications. It's either for me, my mom, my dad. It's what it is. The people at my neighborhood, Walgreens. Oh, look at that. Um know me by name and um they're like picking up for mom and dad I'm like yeah picking up for mom and dad so they're they're very very good to me and if i'm in the drive through and i need something they'll run in the store real quick and grab it for me so i don't have to get out of the car which is awesome i mean that's like great service i don't know if your walgreens does that but my walgreens does um, yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty nice to me. They know my family. Sometimes mom and pop will be in the car next to me when I go to, through the drive through Uh, where's my, oh, okay. So that was that. Like I said, I was going to try to finish this that didn't pick up very well but I can clearly fix it I'm gonna put that to the side I'm gonna push this over straighten this one out grab that drill and put that right in the middle that one's a little wonky I heard from one of the YouTubers that it's best not to fix your drills because that's the most time consuming and that's what takes too long when you're doing your diamond painting. So I'm going to try to listen to what they say since they've been doing it a lot longer than I have. Some extra glue. Just push that right back in. The pin. Sometimes it comes out the side. And I just push that in there. Part A. Alright, so let's get back down to the bitness. Alright. So yeah. Doing your first whip and chat is kind of nerve-wracking. Because like I said, you, you think that... What could I talk about? What could I do that's that's going to be interesting? But I thought I'm not going to sweat it. I'm going to record it. If I like it, I'll post it. If I don't, I won't. Or even if I don't like it, I'll post it and see what other people think. Because like I said, right now, basically, the majority... Let me see if I can change. Let's see. Let me get this 10 placer. Um, let me uh, see if I can... Uh, oh, like I said, um, most of my 
subscribers right now are just friends and family, so they're going to enjoy it. At least I'd like to think that they're going to enjoy it. I love that sound. That popping sound. You only get that with the squares, too. This is a 10 placer. I don't know if you ain't what's on this side. If you guys can see it, it'll say a little imprint of a 10. It's not really coming out very good. So this is a 10 placer, and I love, I tend to stick to fives, like five, 10, and 15 placers. Oh, they all came out when I tried to fix them. Just because I have a 10 placer doesn't mean I have to pick up 10 drills. I can. Let's do it because I go like this. That's at least nine or 10. So let me fix this a little bit for you guys. And now I'm gonna pick up 10. Whoops. Picked them up. Start at the bottom and basically just row it. Hey, beautiful. 10 placed. That's how I tend to get some of them done pretty quickly. Especially if it's a lot of color blocking. Color blocking is when you have a lot of the same color close to each other um, confetti is just like it sounds like if you get confetti for a cake there's sprinkles of different colors everywhere and then diamond art it's that same thing if you have sprinkles of color everywhere that's a lot of confetti which means it's gonna be a little bit more time-consuming but it's gonna come out great the colors should come out beautiful um, but I do like these color blocking ones as they don't take as much time. And I can get through my diamond paintings pretty fast. Whoa, that came out really wonky. Um, I do have some that I want to do to donate to my, my local vet. Where we take Trixie and Luna too. Um, I did purchase one diamond painting for, uh, what's the name of it? Chocolate Lab. I want to do that for the vet. They were really good to me and my sister. Um, I want to say four or five years ago, I had to put down a cat that I had for 18 years and that was really really hard for me and um, those people there were so good to me that I when I returned with the very first time I found out that Trixie had um, what's it called Trixie had allergies. It was hard to go back to the place where I had last seen my baby girl put down. So I did it. I made it. I went all by myself. I was a big girl and I did it. And, um, they were, like I said, they remembered me. They were really nice. So I purposely bought that to make it for them. They don't know, but once I complete it, I'm gonna, just going to take it up there with one of the visits for either uh, Luna or Trixie. Um, Luna also has allergies and scratches her belly. And she always sits right next to me when I do diamond painting. It's, it's, it's quite annoying. I love her to pieces, but when she's going through, um, when she's going through that, 
and she's itching all the time, it's not fun to listen to when you're diamond painting. So this is bad. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out. I take my... Whoop, there it goes. I take my tweezers and I push out all the old wax because sometimes they get resin residue from the drills and as you can see the one I just took out was black I had just finished working on a black swan not black swan <laughs> swan lake which had it came with 11 bags of 10 of 310 which is black so that's why my wax was black and I'm going to show you guys how I fill my multi-placers if I can find my blue wax there it is come hither child come hither so this is what I use for my multi-placers um, I use the patty wax super sticky for my single placer and then I use for the multi placers I use the blue wax I'm it lasts longer for me so if I decide not to diamond paint for three or four days and I decide to go do some cross stitching or anything else um, I don't have to fill it all the time it stays quite tacky. So I just go through. Yeah, blue wax for me lasts way longer. But as you can see, I only did half of the pin. If I can get this off, there we go, it's coming out. Okay, and then I just turn it around I got a little bit left, so I'm gonna try to use this little bit of wax that I have here to fill in that corner. Okay. So now we have fresh wax. So I'm just gonna push it in there really good. And you can see, I don't know if you guys can see the blue how far down it goes into the actual multiplacer. So that's why I try to push it a little bit and get it in there. And that's as easy as that. This will last me three weeks or a month. Like it's it's that great. That's Star Ore Blue Wax. I love getting that. I can get that um off of Amazon. Let's see. This pen that I'm using right now is from the Diamond Art Club. Um, and I already told you about the Patty Wax Super Sticky. And then this tray I got from, I think his name is JD Designs. Let's see. JH Envision Lab and it was a personalized drill tray and it was $16.99 I think it was it was really nice I really like this one this is my favorite I rarely ever use another tray very rarely I do if I'm gonna work on a very large project and I'm gonna pour out most of my drills to work on it then yeah I'm gonna need a bigger tray so I get the bigger trays I'll show you to you guys one time I, I got it off of Amazon I don't have it out handy next to me right now I only brought out what I needed um, so yeah I was watching a video of questions and answers from Miss Coffee and I thought that's a good idea you know I could ask people you know what 
questions do you have for me? What do you want to know? What do you not want to know? Um, <laughs> but during that questions and answers, she, somebody asked, you know, I noticed you haven't been doing diamond painting. And she and some and some YouTubers will go through this. Um, where you do so much of this, it's not fun. It's not fun anymore. Or you go through, you just wanted to work on something else for a little while. That that does happen to me. Sometimes I just, all right, I've done so much diamond painting and I haven't done any of my stitching and I haven't done any paint by numbers and I haven't done any of the stuff that I want to do so but I can only go about a week I think a week was the longest I went without diamond painting even with company here I don't care you hear me I don't care. I'm going to do my diamond painting. I, Christmas was here. People were here. And I was diamond painting. I don't care. The house was full of people. Yes. They could sit down and talk to me while I diamond paint. No problem. Just like I'm talking to y'all. See, this is what happens when your wax is on the outside of the pin when you first fill it up it'll pick up stray trails from the other let's say these are all lanes it'll pick up from the other side so I go like this and take off that extra wax because as you put in new wax and you start using it it pushes the wax out now, some people will just put it back in, and some people will leave it out. I'm going to leave it out on this one, because it's already starting to fill the pre-made holes for the diamonds. And it's looking pretty. And we're finishing up this little pretty little butterfly. I need to get my car detailed before my brother comes to town. Because it's looking like a hot mess right now. And I have a black car. And black cars get dirty so fast. And especially with the construction that they're doing in my street. Oh my god, there's so much powder. I mean, uh, dust. Construction dust. Hey, get off of there. Um, on my car, it drives me batty. It drives me batty. I don't know how long I've been talking, but it doesn't seem too long. I guess I'll find out when I'm done. I just want to finish this butterfly. You know how it is. Once you start something or you start a color, at least I am, and dinner's ready or you know people are waiting to go and I'm like oh, I just want to finish this color just let me finish this color yep that'd be me that's how I am all right so that one missed this one's upside down so I just flip it over put it back down um, let's see So, yes, um, I do not have any babies other than my fur babies and my nieces and nephews that I love them as if they were my babies. Um, it's just not in the books for me, I guess, which I'm okay with. I have so many nieces and nephews to spoil and love. 
but it's okay. I'm okay with it. That I don't have any babies. Even though I have been in relationships where um, he has kids and his kids start calling me mom. And then the real mom gets upset because her kids are calling me mom. Hey, that's not my fault that you're a bad mother. And your kid would rather call me mom. That's that's not my fault. That's That's your issue. You need to take that up with your kid. If you were a better mom, your kid wouldn't be calling me mom. That's how I see it. But that relationship didn't last. And um, we separated. Because I just, I don't want baby mama drama in my life right now. I have enough going on. You know, and then there's, there was a guy that I was dating and, oh, good Lord, was he bipolar. Woo. That's for another video. We'll talk about that. Well, I'm done with this butterfly. She came out pretty. I must say so myself. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my first whip and chat. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If it's your first time visiting my channel, um, thanks for coming. Please hit the subscribe button if you liked it. Give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you next time on the favorite diamond paints and crafts. Bye, everybody. Have a good one.